I always regard this as the gathering of the clan because I've always considered the IMRS to be very much a family and this is the highlight of our year. Reflecting back over my 25 years, no organisation has better represented my interests more fulsomely than the IMRS and commanded that professional respect. I challenge all of our members here tonight to seek out an opportunity in the coming year to engage with young people who will ultimately be the future of this institute. It is my enormous pleasure to present the Honorary Fellowship of the Institute to Chris Hodge in recognition of the key role he played in the revitalisation, modernisation and continuing success of the Institute. For well-filled plate and brimming cup and freedom from the washing up, for those who cook and those who serve, our appreciation they surely deserve. Then our evening may be blessed, the annual dinner of IMRST. So what does the British Antarctic Survey do? We go from the deep oceans to the deep space. In the past, we went to Antarctica to study it because it was a very interesting place and there were lots of other reasons. But we're now waking up to the fact that what happens there affects us. The technology that I've seen and used that you employ has the capability to solve problems. This is cutting edge, this is a world leading research ship that is being built in the UK. I believe this genuinely, that we have a positive future for our planet and if we engage with science and engineering and technology, then we can deliver that.